Hey guys, what's up? Um, I just got a new pair of glasses last night, so I wanted to come in and do a quick unboxing. Um, just a little update as far as um, as far as the Oakley life goes. I'm about to go on a trip to Alabama, so that's why I haven't um, done a lot of my um, a lot of more reviews like I should be doing. Um, that's why I haven't bought any more shades, just because I'm about to go back up there and get all the rest of my stuff and bring it down here. So um, I should, when I get back, I'll probably do an account update of everything that I have. Um, everything that I've got and everything that I brought from Bama um, and just try and just do the best I can piece it all together so that's that's a quick update about why I haven't been too good about in reviews but um, nevertheless doing a review today so um, the frame that I got last night um, is part of the X metal line as you can see right here you can see the little coin um, it's the X squared um, it's the new version of the Juliet it was released mm, probably six or seven months ago it hadn't been out for too long um, but they they redesigned the box. They redesigned um, the whole the whole entire X Metal line. So now if you go um, if you go to the store, you'll see a little bit different looking box. Um, I personally think the box is awesome. It it opens from both sides like this. So then there's one piece of the box, which is pretty cool. And then this side pulls off. So you actually have two separate pieces of the boxes. So that's that's really cool right there. Um, Anyways, moving on. Um, it comes with the collector's coin right here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, a couple of positive things to the X-Metals um, is that they're made of a lightweight titanium alloy. Um, so they are heavier than your than your normal O-Matter frames, but they're very durable and super strong. I mean, if you sit on them, you probably, I would, if, I would probably venture to say that you're not going to bend them. You're probably just not going to bend them there. It's super tough. Um, Here's a little coin I was talking to you about. So um, a lot of people don't like this line because they tend to fit a little tight on your head. Um, they just, right behind your ears, they tend to give you a headache if you wear them for too long. So that's something I would definitely recommend trying out. Just go into the store and just put put you know just put it on. If it's a sunglass hut or whatever, just go to the store and just try them on because they will, they are super tight along the behind your ears. So there's the box, warranty information down here. Just light percentage, you know, of your lenses and stuff like that, and then your email capture. Make sure to finish, fill that out, guys. So then they come in a case like this. This is actually the first uh, X Metal line that comes with a case, which I thought was pretty cool. You can see the X Metal emblem. Um, the case costs about thirty dollars in the store if you buy it separate. So it's really nice that you know you pay. I think I paid like three fifty for mine. So, but I got a $30 case with it. So, as if I bought the Juliet, so it would have been $350, and then what I had to buy off the case would have been $380. So, I was pretty excited, to, you know, that they gave me the extra case, which is cool. So, go ahead and open them up. I uh, love how they package it. It's always packed in there. Boom. So there they are. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have done a lot of just looking around and stuff um, about the Juliets and the X-Metals and stuff. Um, the Juliet is a, it's a lot more round. The lens is more rounded, more kind of ovalish, I guess you could say. And as you can see with this lens, it's definitely way more square. You can just tell how square it is. Um, that's why it's called the X-Square. You can tell how aggressive the lens looks. It just looks, you know, you can tell just by the, the way the through bolt comes through. You can just tell that it's the Juliet's a lot more sleek. Um, another thing you, you can notice on the nose is that there's no rivets. And on all of the other x mails there's there's outside rivets. And the reason why the x mails are so cool is because most people, when they put on sunglasses, they try and bend the arms. And the arms do bend just a little bit. You know, I mean, they'll come out a little bit, but not too much. Um, but actually the X metal is bent from the nose piece. So if you watch closely, you probably see it. It bends from the nose piece, which is really cool. Um, the disadvantage of this is that the rivets inside over time will eventually start to wear down. And I've seen people come in the store who have had their Juliets for seven, eight, nine years. And, and literally you can pick them up and just like this and they'll, they'll almost, the arms will almost tap together. So, but the good thing about, another good thing about spending a little bit more money on and getting these pair of shades is that um, if you send it back in after five or six years, I think it would charge you like 40 bucks 
and they pretty much give you a whole new frame. I mean, I've known some people that, you know, they just fix the rivets, but most of the time they'll put your lenses in a brand new frame and just uh, and give them to you. Now, one disadvantage of that, you know, go ahead and commenting on that, is that you do lose your frame. And in the earlier Juliets, they actually came out with serial numbers. Um, I think it was just, I think it was something they started and they realized it was going to be more difficult. So now they only, they only um, number a certain few, like the first, uh, I don't know, it's they only number like the first 20 or 30,000 or something. But um, mine actually does have a, let's see if I can get it to focus in on it. Uh, maybe not. Anyways, you can tell kind of right there. Sorry, guys, I got a crappy camera. You can tell right there that mine actually does have the serial number on it, which is cool. It matches the box. It makes it um, a lot more valuable in the years to come. But this frame right here is the um, polished carbon with the black iridium. It's non-polarized. Guys, this is a sick pair of shades. Just go in the store and try it on, man. It's just it's awesome. Um, price tag is a little heavy. It is um, it's quite expensive, but it's one of those shades you're going to have forever. I mean, unless you do something stupid with them, like drop them in the water or something like that. So I would definitely recommend trying these shades on. Um, and I would definitely recommend uh, grabbing a pair up while you can still find some that have the serial number. Um, so thanks, guys, for watching. And I will give you an update as soon as I get back from Bama. All right, guys.